Once you have logged in and selected your mission or decided to fly offline, you'll be brought to your main pilot display. Up at the top left hand corner, your three little lines there is your, going to be your flight planning options here. Next is going to be your GPS connectivity, your drone connectivity where you have your remote and video feeds, your Wi-Fi connectivity. Next is going to be your checklists. your battery life for your actual drone batteries, your iPad or your remote battery. Next is going to be your thermal settings if your drone does have thermal settings. Followed by your pilot information. If you want to select a different mission, you can select mission there or you can if you need to log out and log into a different pilot, you can click on pilot and it'll bring you back to the login screen or the mission screen depending on if which one you want to do. Next is going to be your anti-collision settings followed by the general settings, drone settings, battery settings, any collision, remote settings, your gimbal, and that's going to be variant depending on what platform you're flying, uh, and other settings, again, depending on the pay payload or platform you're deciding to use. Up at the middle uh, right-hand side, you have your zoom capabilities with the Mavic, uh, where you can zoom in or out. You have your the ability to switch between visual and thermal. Next, you can turn your anti-collision light on or off. On the right-hand side, you have your camera settings. And clicking on the top one there, you can switch between video and stills. You have your camera settings underneath. Down at the bottom, you have your telemetry. On the left-hand side, you're going to have your gimbal angle. As you adjust, that does roll with you your drone pilot distance, your attitude indicator. Next is going to be your horizontal and vertical speed and your height above terrain or height above ground level. On the bo bottom right hand corner, you're going to have your map. You can select that and it will show you an overall area of the map. It does show you your get the direction your drone is flying. If you need to get back to your camera settings, just click on the camera down at the bottom right hand corner. That concludes the general overview of the pilot interface. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.